Rabada, Mangana Makanya Nasuke Miando Kadio Shigami and Gedegede, Ezekendoski and the Geni and the Geni Kamarani on Aski and Ande, Ekonda Kabana Manas coming Geni and the Gedegede, Gedegede, Ekadega Panio Zania Kabarabande, Eledebesumene, the Akania Naski and Nania Kalabarabara Bastini and Aganiande. Everyone who should be in this meeting this evening will come safely in the name of Jesus. Thank you for safety. Thank you for safety. Thank you for safety. Thank you, Jesus. Uskamia Gadadia, Ekana Megala Begiria Ganoski Gadiana, Ekada Gadia Legadia Galagada Baraka Badios Ganyanade, our eyes are greased with heaven, our eyes finds alignment with heaven, Esambia Karabala Mania Scalemania La Canosca, we come into alignment, a common Akibros and Kemia Dakade, a letter Pushmania Dakadia, the Gede 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 Ibalamia to Zakama diate, and it get a get a Zakadalia, a cosa patake, a cosca hapatesca, a conia canios in the Amakan Yosigamania, a la nella mela meshmena get a 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 Elionda Basukinia da Gangelia, Esada Banga Bada Bangelia de Cosia Gedia Doskia. We bless your name, Father. We bless your name, Father. For you are good and your mercy endures forever. Lord, you are good. Your mercy endures forever. As I call me, you shall be in the Alamaskani Manana. We bless you for you are good. And your mercy endures forever. As come, Manama. Benga Yoka, Eko Maradata, Shiata Data, Eko Desia Kadoma Deda, Elionda Casca Pigin Yoskende, Uskenia Ganenia Sadia, Eskenia de Escaparabade, Askenia Canatiza, Assisinia Nakania Gania 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 can we thank Jesus? Can we say thank you, Jesus? Can we bless Jesus? We say thank you, Jesus. 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 High priest, we say thank you. High priest, we say thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for many, many mercy. 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 Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. I want us to thank the Lord. Can we say thank you, Jesus? You know, our thanksgiving can never be too much. We say thank you, Jesus. 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 We say thank you, Father. We say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the preservation of our souls. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, you Father. I want us to open our hearts to Jesus and thank the Lord with our hearts. We say thank you, Jesus. 
We say thank you, Jesus. We say thank you, Jesus. We say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We say thank you, Jesus. I'm lost of words trying to describe you. Eloi, Elion, Adeshelewi, your greatness is all I see. There is nothing you cannot do. There's no mountain you cannot move. You are Thank <laughs> you. 
You have called me to your table, and I will die. Give me Before I not satisfied, you are proud me. You are proud me. Do your day for and have you died. Do that friend. Ka 
Merciful I priest, faithful I priest, only you can save. Merciful I priest, faithful I priest, only you can save. Only you can say, only you can say, Oh, 
you're bringing everything in a video. Jesus, thank you, our Father. Thank you, our Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, our Father. under you, the holy true God. I come under you, Father, with all weakness, with all help this night. I ask that you glorify your son. Make your son known. Let there be harvest of souls. Let there be harvest. Bring many closer. Bring many in inside into the dwelling place of your light. Thank you, our Father. This evening we seek your strength, Father. Help us, Father, to navigate your word. Grant us skills, Father, in the name of Jesus. 
in jesus mighty name we have prayed can we please be on our seat you're welcome this evening how are you doing hope you had a a at least a mayor of rest in the evening You know, I've been following the meeting, you know, the prayer. It has been so much full of the spirit, you know. Yeah, welcome. Please walk up to your neighbor to the right and to the left and say, neighbor, you're welcome. Thank you. Hey, Alpha. Please, my thank you. Help me with my second phone, please. Is 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 the, <laughs> this one too is dead? Okay. Um, let me take my hard copy Bible. Let's just take this song while we are sitting. No, no drum. No. Baba Fagbara Reon. Baba Fagbara Reon. Baba Fagbala Reon. Baba Fagbara Kibobo haraye le monta chuikpe Jesu ni koloba glory aye bobo baba fagbara reo baba fagbara reo baba fagbara reo Baba Fagbara Reon Ibo Bo Haraye Le Monta Chuipe Jesu Niko Areon Baba Fagbara Reon Ibo Bo Haraye Baba <laughs> Le montage you we pray, Jesu ni koloba, gloria ye bobo, baba fagbara reho, baba fagbara reho, baba fagbara reho, baba fagbara reho. Baba Fagbara Reho Ibo Bo Haraye Le Monta Chuipe Jesu Ni Kolowa Gloria Ye Bo Bo Baba Fagbara Reho You know, heaven is becoming so clear. You know, heaven is becoming so it's like uh, you are in the. It's like you are in, and the door of your. Of your room is open. You know that's the way heaven is. You know, heaven is becoming so clear. It seems as if we live in a. It's like a sitting room experience. It's like you are in the sitting room, but the door of your heart. 
So it means you can peep from the sitting room, you know, to see what is happening there. You know, it's a very beautiful place. You know, it's a place of, of pleasures. Say pleasures. Say pleasures. Say pleasures. Say pleasures. Say pleasures. You know, makes me want to laugh in, this, in my spirit. Why? Because it is good, you know, to live above the head. You know, and live in the reality of the things above. You know, if you don't, if you cannot assess the unseen realm by the Holy Ghost, Mesita handa kubrene hisu vena klefrena ste hivena kubre ste hia. Mesi la brehunda vena ste hivena do breha ste hivena do kovo ste hia. Evrena no ste hivena do kovo ste hivena hi la brehia o ste hia. Mesai la bahanda vena do superhunda vigla hena hi superhunda no kulo ste hia. Mesai la bahanda vena do superhunda hi ste hivena no ste hia. Mesi la brehunda vena do superhunda hi la brehia ste hia. Messi la bahan de bet nos tefim bila bahan de his tehia. Ebre an ne se hob na ke se hivan ba ha ne se hivan o ka ba ne se tehia. Messi la hai na ke se hivan o bre na ha se tehia. Ida no ka ba la te se hivan o bre ha ke se hivan ba ya. Messi la bra his te. Messi la bra meno guru 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 guru. Thank you, Father. Who can who has the interpretation of this tongue? Uh. You hear me? You should be able to hear this tongue in your spirit. Give her the mic, let her. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. He's in our spirit, but it's not it's not picking it by faith. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Okay, let's help her. Please help me help your sister. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. For there is a glory ahead which is beyond the imagination of man. There is a glory in the eye up in the heaven. There is a glory high up in the heaven beyond the imagination of man. Beyond the imagination of man, beyond the thoughts of men, beyond the expectation of men, this glory is ordered by mercy. This glory is ordered by many, many mercy. It is ordered than usher. Mercy ushers in this glory. Mercy, mercy brings down this glory into it. Mercy brings down this glory into it. Mercy brings down. 
this glory to you. Mercy brings down this glory that you may know what is the height, what is the breadth, and what is the length of what I have prepared for man, which is heaven, the heaven, heaven that I have prepared for man. Yeah. This glory, this glory is high up in the heaven yeah. and is unlocked by my mercy, yeah. by my face. Yeah. Behold ye my face, yeah. that ye may obtain mercy yeah. to see this glory. Yeah. Behold ye my face. Yeah. This face is my face. It is my face. My face. Mercy face. It is mercy face. Ojuanu. Ojuanu. It is Ojuanu. My mercy face. Yeah. My face of mercy. My face of mercy usher down this glory yeah. and brings it down into even the midst of the brethren. Yes. It brings it down even into your midst yes. that you may understand. Yes. It brings it down into bits. Yes. This glory which is beyond the imagination of man. Mercy brings it down into your midst yes. that you may understand. Yes. That you may understand. That it illuminates even your spirit. Yes. It's light that illuminates even your spirit yes. and gradually translates to your souls yeah. and gradually comes down to your soul. Yes. This this glory is brought down by many, many mercy. Yes. Mercy of my face. Yes. Mercy on my face. Yes. Mercy on my face. Yes. Be old. Be old. Be old. Be old. Mercy. Be old. Mercy. Be old. My face of mercy. Look unto my face of mercy. Yes. Look up to look up to my face of mercy yes. and this season I am bringing you as a church yes. to see my face yes. I am bringing my face yes. I am showing my face clearly yes. to the church yes. I am showing my face clearly yes. I am revealing my face yes. that you may start seeing yes. that you may start seeing my messy face yes. you may start seeing my messy face yes. you may start seeing my messy face yes. you will start seeing my messy face Yes. My messy face. Oju anu, oju anu, oju anu oluwa, oju anu mi, oju anu mi, oju anu mi. Be yes. hold on to my face. Yes. You will be a generation that will know my face. Yes. You will not just know me by my hand, yes. but by my face. Yes. You will know my. And, but I also know my face. Yeah. You will recognize, you will understand me. Yes. You will start seeing yes. that heaven. Yes. You will start seeing heaven. Yes. You will pick heaven. Yes. You will know heaven. Yes. You will relate with heaven. Yes. You will know heaven. Yes. And this is heaven on earth. Yes. This is called heaven on earth. Yes. Heaven on earth is where you start seeing my face. Yes. When you start knowing, yes. there is a knowing that you will know. Yes. When you start knowing, yes. you will start knowing. You will start knowing. Yes. You will start knowing. Yes. My message will bring knowing to you. Yes. My mercy will bring knowing. It will bring knowing. Yes. It will bring knowing. Yes. It will bring knowing. You will recognize. You will no longer hear alone, but you will understand yes. that when you see my face, yes. you will know it is my face. Yes. You will know it is my face. Yes. Among your brethren, yes. you will see my face. Yes. Among your walk, yes. you will see my face. Yes. Among the flocks, yes. you will see my face. Yes. Even in your shepherd, you will see my face. Yes. My face will usher you to yes. heaven. Yes. It is heaven. Yes. It is heaven. Yes. This is heaven. Yes. This is heaven. Yes. Embrace heaven. Yes. This is heaven. This is heaven. Yes. This is heaven. This is heaven. Yes. This is heaven. Give us heaven. Give us heaven. Keep in heaven. Live in heaven. Live in heaven. Live in heaven. Live in heaven. Yes. Let us This evening, you know, I tried preparing my heart to see what the Lord, you know, will say you know, to us this evening. The only thing I had was, I just found out that, you know, the habitation around me, God just was just responding to me by a new habitation. You know. I was on my bed, but I was in heaven. You know, 
I could see into the heaven, into the spirit so clearly. And I could see into the realm of the supernatural, you know. I could see, as I'm talking now, I could see the angel, you know, that is behind this ministration. So, it's like, you know, heaven has descended upon us as a people. Heaven has what? Descended upon us as a what? So that by heavens, from the realm of heavens, we can read more with the eternal. Everybody say eternal. Say eternal. Say eternal. Say eternal. So heaven is so clear, so real. You know, and this habitation must not be lost. It must not be lost. It must be our dwelling place. We must be on head and not be on it. Paul said, I know a man in the spirit, you know. He said, whether he said, I know a man. He said, whether in the flesh or in the spirit, I know not. So what does it mean? So it means that the spiritual heaven has become a one home for Paul. So he interacts between the two worlds. That is required because of the darkness and the intense heat that is coming upon the face of the earth. You know, we must move from the realm of the flesh into the realm where we can host God and become a living altar of God upon the face of the earth. <laughs> you understand? God is the shrine of the spirit an abiding presence of the Holy Ghost. Where we can live perpetually. You know, again, prophesied. He said there is be there will be a generation, you know, who will live perpetually in the glory of God. He said they will not just come out, they will not just go, it will not the glory will not be a one time experience. To so some of us, glory is like a one time experience. Maybe when you go for a meeting and the Lord maybe encounter you, you feel the glory of God. He said, God is here. No. That season has passed. We are in a season that we must host heaven. Everybody say host heaven. <laughs> say host heaven. Say host heaven. Say host heaven. So heaven must become like an habitation, a natural habitation. You know, in the old order, when you make people, I said, I say heaven, I don't believe it. I say heaven, I don't overhand, I say heaven, I don't is in the height. Heaven is the source of heavenly blessings. This is the heaven of heavens. Come and help us to interpret that clearly. Thank you, Jesus. Father. We thank you, Father. For a blessed man. A blessed man. A blessed man. Yes. A blessed man. Mm. I speak to a blessed man. Mm. I am referring to a blessed man. Mm. These words are for the blessed man. Mm. A man that is blessed. Mm. A man that has received of my blessing. Mm. A man that has seen my face. A man that has come to my faith. Mm. A man that has received ministrations of my faith. Mm. A man that has come to glory. Mm. Glory. A man that has come and stayed in glory. In glory. A man that has interfaced with my glory. Mm. A man that has come to the ministry of my face. Mm. He is the blessed man. Mm. He is the man that I speak about mm. today. He is 
the man to which I refer tonight is a man, the man, that man, mm. that man, that man, I say is blessed. Mm. Yes, because the man, the man, the man, the man, the man, that same man, that man, that man, that man, that man has come to my face, mm. has come to my face, mm. has come to my face, yes. he has come to my face, yes. he has come to throne, he has come to the throne, he has come to the throne, he has found mercy, mm. it is mercy yes. that brought him to glory, yes. because there is no glory mm. without the mercy seat, mm. there is no glory, yes. my glory proceed by my mercy mm. mercy allows my glory to proceed mm. mercy it is through my mercy that my glory can proceed yes. a man who finds mercy yes. we come into glory yes. we feast with my face yes. we'll be blessed we'll be blessed and so i told moses you should bless them this yes. way yes. you should say to them yes. the lord bless you yes and keep you and let his face shine on you oh and let his face shine on you and let his face shine and give you peace yes. it is by my mercy yes. you come into peace yes. but you shall be blessed yes. by my face yes. and my face is my glory yes, it's my glory my glory the glory that proceeds in between the cherubim in between the cherubim yes. is my face. Yes. The man to which this ministration come to yes. shall be called blessed. Yes. Shall become blessed. Yes. Shall become blessed. Yes. He will be called the blessed man. Yes. I am referring is blessed. Yes. That man is the blessed man. Yes. He is the blessed man. And those blessings are in the heavens. Mm. <laughs> These blessings are in the heavens. Yes. These blessings are in the heavens. Yes. They are kept in the heavens. Yes. They have been kept before the foundations yes. of the world yes. because these blessings mm. cannot fade. Yes. Because these blessings do not corrupt. Mm. Because these blessings are eternal. Yes. Because these blessings remain forever. Yes. Therefore, this man to whom I speak, yes. when he is blessed, yes. will not be corrupted. Yes. This man will remain forever. Yes. This man shall not fade yes. away. The man to which I speak, yes. we have the things that we have construed yes. even before the world began. Yes. This is the blessing. Yes. The blessing is my name, yes. is my nature, yes. is my very presence. Yes. It is my glory. Yes. My glory is my blessing. Yes. It is my blessing. Yes. My blessing. Yes. My blessing is my glory. Is my face. Is my face. The man to whom I speak shall have ministrations of my face, mm. the ministrations of my glory. Mm. Now proceed from mercy, from mercy, from mercy, from mercy, from mercy. I speak to a man tonight. Mm. The man is a blessed man. Mm. Proceed to speak the word. Thank you. You see where the tongues are coming. <laughs> They are thunderings. They are the sound of many waters that can only be communicated by the pure knowledge. Pure knowledge. Pure knowledge. Pure knowledge. Pure knowledge. Insist a pure knowledge. Access a pure knowledge. Lord knowledge. Rough knowledge. Face knowledge. The face knowledge. Face in the knowledge. Envious of so face knowledge. Face knowledge. Envious of face knowledge. Eyes face knowledge. Those face knowledge. Doors face knowledge. Cough from CCC face knowledge. On that Messiah, the Hotel, this heaven also face. Coughings, the heaven all, cleverness, the heaven all, which they hear. Face knowledge. I in the whole train is a face knowledge. I sigh and the they be some face knowledge. Love I say face knowledge. Grace, grace, face knowledge. Face knowledge. Face, face is in the knowledge. Face knowledge. 
Jesus sa Hebra na halin. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. This is covering the earth. Even as darkness is hovering over man. So I say again, I say again and again, for the knowledge of my glory shall cover the earth. Even as water cover it, the seas, I will bring knowledge, knowledge of my glory. Yes. The knowledge of my glory is the knowledge of my face. Yes. The Faith is the glory, know my glory, and you shall see my face. For that which I hid from Moses is my face, is my glory, which he desired to see. He desired to see my glory. He desired to see my face. He said, Show me thy face. He said, Show me thy glory. For that which I hid then, now I bring. As elect, even the very elect, even the very elect must come to the knowledge of my face, yes. the knowledge of my glory. I share to you, I bring to you that which was hidden, but now that is made to be declared, even by the speakings of my word, I bring to you the knowledge of my face. Yes. Hear my face, hear my glory, know my face, know my glory, and you shall overcome darkness. Because when you know my glory, you will become my glory. He that seeth my face shall become what he see. When you see my I will teach my knowledge. I will teach. I will teach. I will teach the knowledge. I will teach the knowledge. I will bring the knowledge of my face, which is the knowledge of my glory. Just say the spirit of the Lord. Thank you, Father. Intensity in the spirit this night. So much intensity. I want us to open our Bible to like uh, Exodus twenty-five. So that's 25 verse. Uh, verse 16. I want somebody to read for me. Yes. And that shall I put into the heart yes. the testimony which I shall give thee. Which I, I wish I shall give you. And thou shalt make a mercy seat of pure gold. Yes. Two cubits. Yes. And a half shall and a cubit and half the breath thereof. Yes. And thou shalt make two cherubims of gold. Two of, cherubims of what? Of gold. Of gold. Of beaten works shall thou make them. Yes. In the two ends of the mercy seat. In the two ends of the mercy seat. And make one cherub. Yes. On the one hand. Yes. And the other cherub. Yes. On the other hand. Yes. Even of the mercy seat shall you make the cherubims on the two ends thereof. Yes. And the cherubims. Yes. Shall stretch forth their wings on high. Yeah, they shall set forth their wings on high. Covering the mercy seat with their wings. Yeah, covering the mercy seat with their wings. And their faces shall look one to another. Their faces shall look one to another. Towards the mercy seat shall the faces of the cherubim be. Towards the mercy seat shall the faces of the cherubim be. And thou shalt put the mercy seat above the heart. Yes. And in the heart thou yeah. shalt put the testimony yes. that I shall give thee. Yes. And there I will meet with thee. Yes. And I will come with thee from I'll... above the mercy seat. Thank you. Verse 20, he said, The cherubim shall stretch forth their wings on high. You know, covering the mercy seat with wings, and their faces shall look to one another. They shall look to one another, and towards the mercy seat shall the faces of the cherubims be. 
Everybody say faces. Say faces. Say faces. So upon the mercy seat, you find the faces of the children. So what that face does is to hover upon the mercy seat. These beings are beings that keep the paths of mercy. They have capacity to cover. And they are not just ordinary angelic beings. They are spirit beings which cover the paths of the throne. So what does it mean? It means that no one can by himself find mercy. Yet they have to minister. Mercy has to be ministered. You can't by yourself find mercy or pray God to have mercy upon you. You must go through order. Order of love. Order of the loving kindness. It means that they will first of all have to quicken you and make you obey the gospel and quicken you from the dead. And make you first of all make you to love the saints and love the brotherhood. So when you, when you are kept by love, <laughs> then you can now look for mercy unto eternal salvation, unto ultimate salvation. All of these cherubims, you know, they have faces. Look at them. And their faces, their face, the face of the cherubims represent the kingdom. Say kingdom. Kingdom. Say kingdom. Say kingdom. Say kingdom. Say kingdom. So when you see a face of a cherub, it rests proven or seek even or king, proven or say even or king. Kingdom. Heaven or sea, even of an heavenly kingdom. Heavenly kingdom. It represents heavenly. Why? Right? They are custodian of the present heaven. They are the prince or the son of the heavenly world. Everybody say heavenly world. Say heavenly world. Say heavenly world. Say heavenly word. So why did God put the message in the heavens? Why? They need to safeguard the pathway of understanding. They need to keep it safe from the soul. Whose face is also in custody of another kingdom, which is called the kingdom of this world. That kingdom of this world is a face of the fallen shield. <laughs> so, Cherubims in their congregations are faces. <laughs> and when they say faces, just not just they look physically, you understand me. They have access to the invisible resource of their world. So when you say, um, a prince with the dominion of his world. And he has a light that governs the dominion. 
So when they are high-ranking spirit, they are sons of the heavenly world. So then, by predestination, is ordained that they keep the path to mercy, so that the face of the throne will be unveiled. So that the throne face can what? So you have the heavenly world. You have the kingdom of this world. You also have the eternal kingdom. All of those things are faces. Different faces that represent different order of kingdom. So the throne also had this. I want somebody to read uh, Job 26, verse 8. <laughs> he binded up the waters in, the, in, the, in his stick. Yes, he binded up the waters in his stick. In his stick clouds. Yes. And the cloud is not rent under them. Yes. He ordered back the face of his throne. Yes, he ordered back the face of his throne. And he spread his cloud upon it. And spread his cloud upon it. He had compared the waters with bounds. Yes. Until the day and night come to an end. Yes. The Thank pillars you. of heaven tremble. Yeah. The pillars of heaven tremble. And are astonished at his reproof. Yes, at his reproof. He divided the sea with his power. Yes. And by his understanding, he smited through the proud. Yes. By his spirit, yes. he had garnished the heavens. Yes. In his hand, from the crooked serpent, yes. Lo, yes, these are part of his way, yes. But how little a portion is heard of him, yes. But the thunders of his power, who can understand? You see, <laughs> he said, He garnished the heavens. <laughs> when you say garnish, it means that he put something in heaven, he made heaven a citadel of a resource. And he put that resource, you know, to be gated by the sheaf of those words, which are angelic spirits, to guard the path's way of what? Of understanding. So he shut down. He said, he hold back. The fish of the stone. He kept it. <laughs> so what does it mean? It means that nobody, even the angels, can have access to the throne. Why? Because that kingdom yeah, is not an angelic kingdom. It's an eternal kingdom of the soul. So with the fact that they have faces, for covering, you understand me? They themselves don't have access. So that's why their faces has to be to one another and to keep the pathway of mercy. And Job saw in the spirit that God would put them back of him. Why? Because that throne represents a kingdom that is going to be revealed. The throne is a kingdom. It's a kingdom. It's a kingdom. So cherubims are kingdom entities. So what is the purpose of this throne? Why? Because they want to raise souls of the superior heaven. Even the heaven of the sun. Heavenly sons. The agenda of that throne is to raise sons of a more superior heaven. 
So that is why God, in the time of Job, he folded back the face of that tree. That throne is a kingdom. But they guard it and put the resource of that kingdom in the heavenly world. I say a piece of Thank you, Father. Can we read? Ephesians chapter 1. Let's start from verse 2. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 2. Yes. Grace be to you. Grace be with you. And peace. And peace. From God our Father. From God our Father. And from the Lord Jesus Christ. When you see salutations like that, what do you think is? When you see things like, look at me. Why is why for all the say the of course hi grace be from Lord Jesus Christ. What do you think is that? That greeting, what is what do you think is that? Huh? Is that who is talking? Someone is talking. What do you think is that? It's faith. Don't make faith. It's faith. It's shining. That's how that throne, that's how that throne opens himself. It's faith. It's faith. What does it mean? When, they, when you begin to hear Grace to you. Those are keys. Everlasting kingdom. So that is how that throne opens up to his face. If you are not greeted, things are not shining. So he said, this is how you bless Israel. Okay? May God help you, Abby. May the Lord bless you. And keep you. And cause his what? To shine upon you. And give you what? And be gracious to you. And give you what? His face. Those are public face. <laughs> so it's God's face. That's how the face shines. So when you see a piece of this epistle a gateway. Can you take this? Can you take this? This epistle, they are gateway of the city of God. What does it mean? They are into the foundation. Okay. So when you go to heaven and say, Lord, I want to go to heaven. I want to know you in heaven. You don't know him in heaven. When you say, oh, my person is to make heaven. When you get there, you don't know him in heaven. Why? Because the faith has been given to shine in the gospel of the Son. So, Pistol must open, and when a pistol is opening, the seal of it is the face that guards the operations. So it means that all the things that are consoled in the letters of the spirit, they are mercy operations. They are faith ministry. They are laws of truth or laws of, that is guided by the face of the father. To bring men into an eternal covenant. That eternal covenant has its own heaven and the earth. 
study the 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 rulership of the present heavenly dominion is to bring back an everlasting dominion when heavens and the heads will pass away. So that is why, that is how emphasis of his eternal kingdom and put it in the heavenly dominion. And he put it in the custodian of angels, not the revelation of it, but you can continue reading, sir. Verses three. Yes. Blessed be the God and the Father of our Lord Jesus. Blessed Christ. be God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings. Who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings. In heavenly places yeah. in Christ. You see, heavenly places in Christ. These are chronic blessings. They are spiritual blessings. Everybody say spiritual blessings. Say spiritual blessings. Say spiritual blessings. Say spiritual blessings. There are blessings in the heavenly places in Christ. So when you say heavenly places in Christ, you know, he's talking about the throne of God. And when you open that throne, you see wisdom, you see sanctification, you see what? You, you know, you see wis you see wisdom, you see righteousness, you see sanctification and redemption. Those are elements of his throne, his heavenly throne. So he puts blessings there in heavenly places. So when you talk about God's throne, you are talking about heavenly places. Why? Because you are a strain kingdom realms. That's why scripture says, the kingdom of God is not in meat and in drink, in righteousness, peace and what? And joy in the Holy Spirit. So when you say tronic order, or the order, you are talking about righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. But that throne is administered by spiritual blessings. Everybody say spiritual blessings. 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 This Spiritual blessings are not custodian of angels. It means that angels don't dispense it. They don't impart it. They don't leave it. You understand me? But they... They keep the testimony as a trust. But not as a trust of the gospel to the sons of the heavens. The trust of son is to bind the testimony among the disciples. You bind it as a nature. The angel, they walk for it. It means that they minister for air of salvation. That is a trust. Why? Because unto them has not God didn't give make the world to come under them. They didn't put the world to come into their subject. So, what is the summary of this phase of discussion? It's to show to us that we can live in heaven. Because that is where our blessing is. You can't be on earth. 
era and have access to the fellowship of spiritual blessings in heavenly places. Never. So our access to heaven is access to the resource of Christ in the heavenly places. Heaven said something. He said, when you access the realm of the spirit, and your access into the realm of the spirit is not access into Christ, he said you will run into falsehood. So you get me? So we are not preaching heaven, you know, as the hope of Christ. You understand me? What we are saying is that there are spiritual blessings in heavenly places which are under the custodian of wisdom. So it is wisdom that administers that blessing. So you have to seek the things above and the heavenly world must be so familiar to you. Why? Because of the whole person. So you are not blessed on earth. So anybody that God wants to open into the flight, they have to bring up. So don't look at yourself as being mystical when God began to give grant you access. I see in the spirit that a lot of people here are changing habitation. A lot of people here, we have access to presence. Present. You just find out that no, 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 you have changed position. It will be easy for you to find God. To find thought in the spirit. Why? Because what governs thought is darkness. Falling thought. Erecting thought. Erecting thinking. Thought of wickedness is a face. So you must come closer to heaven by the Holy Ghost to access blessing in the spirit. So God had to help Paul and grant and granted Paul access into the realm of blessings. He had access into wisdom. So he could build foundation. He could build toward habitation in men. Why? Because of the mystery of understanding. A kind of wisdom that God granted Paul. So verse 4. Verse 4. Yes. According as he has chosen us in him. Yes, according as he has chosen us in him. Before the foundation of the world. Yes. That we should be holy. Yes. And without blame before him in love. Yes, thank you. Uh, that we should be holy without blame before him in what? In love. <laughs> so how do you come into the realm of holiness that is in love? It's not. They can be, it's an eternal substance. You must be brought up to be ministered unto. I'm saying this is so that the journey, we will know the journey and we will know how to be able to appropriate grace. So how do you how, how are you only in love? <laughs> and he said this thing, this thing, he chose you before the foundation of the world. Look at me. What is the, what is what is the foundation? What is the meaning of before the foundation of the world? What is the meaning of the foundation of the world? He who has understanding, let him speak. What is the meaning? The Guide yourself like a man. <laughs> and answer us. Tell us. Thank you, Israel. You can sit down a bit. 
Uh, this is Ephesians chapter 1. This is the first, uh, the first uh, uh, chapter of Ephesians. And you have read the book of Ephesians. So what's the meaning of before the foundation of the world? What's foundation of the world? What was coming to mind is that which was from the beginning. What, that which was from what? The beginning. Hmm. So it means that oh, there is a thought of wisdom. There is a program of wisdom. There is a will of God in the beginning. Isn't it? Can someone want to help add to it? Titi. Before the foundation of the world. Because immediately when you look at, oh, before the foundation of the world, your, your life. Scripture right now. Yes. Talk about foundation. Yes. Okay. Okay. Why I wanted to. Mind is uh, wisdom. You know, proverb eight. Please let me give him a round of applause. <laughs> That's how to open foundation. Wisdom. So what does it mean? When it says, average is not an earthly reality. It's a beginning concept. <laughs> when you say holiness, and you say love, <laughs> what are you talking about? You are talking about chronic character. That's the character of God's soul. That's the nature of the one who sees. He said, be holy as I'm holy. And he categorically said, he said, God is love. So it means that God is holy. And his holiness acts what? Love in it. As a testament of love in it. To come into that sphere, you need access to spiritual blessings, ineffable blessings in Christ. These are chronic dominion. So when you open that blessings, you see righteousness. the blessing of wisdom and lead in the way of righteousness. They are wisdom blessings. So righteousness must be ministered. Righteousness ministry is a mystery of his faith. And is an earthly ministry. To be closer to righteousness they have to move your soul from flesh into the spirit. What God is, they try very in the spirit about our assembly is to make, it's not just to make us plenty in this place. No. It's God who wants to raise few who can be stable in the spirit. If we have two, three, four, five people who are consistently stable in the spirit, they have given as the habitation. You will see first ministry will open to the end. Look at Paul. You have to take Paul up to reveal the song. So you can't dwell on it and expect an eternal destiny. As I am speaking, I'm seeing beyond your early years. 
As I am speaking, I am seeing beyond your ecclesia. I am seeing into hundred years of our disministration. I have seen. So I don't want you to leave the earth and leave the way your father has led. Behold, that is in the gospel. So you must host present. You need to host present so that spiritual laws can be transmitted into your soul. The reason why our soul is like this, the way it is, is because we are here. So there is a dominion that we are perpetually under. So we have not moved with an escape velocity into higher laws from the realm of Christ. We need to move on to here and to defend enmity. So God is bringing to us blessings of the presence. Of presence. So that they can stabilize us in the spirit. Why? Because they need to import love from our spirit into our soul. And they need to do it quickly. So the more time you spend in the spirit, the more fruit you will bear. The more accelerated your path will be. Let me tell you, the current darkness, you know, I was looking at my children and a lot of children in my estate. Muri Bumomotong means in Boti. They just talking like talking. My daddy said, they're just like robots. Children are just like robots. You see parents, they don't have, the, they have the, they don't have sense. They are not they are not aware. Look, oh, wait. These people are raising talky for enemy. Talky. No nice talky. Why? You see them in secondary school. Oh, they are going to a fine school. Okay. My mom will buy one for me. You know. Are you actually preparing them? So it means early in life, you must raise them. After order, kingdom order. Or else they will perish with the world. You know, David was praying. He said, Lord, strange waters has come into my soul. Children, you don't just need to sit and just maybe put one or two things, put waters in the soul. Those waters will become an habitation that will take them into destruction. You just make them have a different kind of mindset. Why? Because there is a being, a shiru, with a face. Who is revealing unrighteousness by his own So, I'm day me. What is Rebobashin Dagba? What is on This one is on that covenant. A spirit is racing. So, when you are like, I want to go and marry, are you ready for the warfare? To raise children against spirit in the air? Or you just want to brush the enemy's teeth with the years of your children? It means no so you have to keep them in church. They need to stay under presence. They need any life. They need to be used to presence and grow as an attention to God. So in this generation, our soul must live flesh to spirit. And we must be helped by God. That's why scripture says that 
Building up yourself on your most holy faith. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Everybody say pray in the Holy Ghost. Say pray in the Holy Ghost. Say pray in the Holy Ghost. Ah. Praise. How do you pray in the Holy Ghost? How do you pray in the Holy Ghost? Okay. How I pray in the uh, Holy Ghost? Yes, how do you pray in the Holy Ghost? I pray in the Holy Ghost. Okay. Either by tongues or by understanding. Mm, either by tongues or by understanding. I love that. Either by tongue or by understanding. Or by understanding. I love that. Because mm. I believe praying in the Holy Ghost, they yeah. didn't classify it as praying in tongues, as Corinthians said. He said? Corinthians specified it as praying in tongues, praying okay. in the tongues of angels. But Jude one twenty was like praying in the Holy Ghost. It did not specify it as praying in tongues or praying in understanding. So, so it is the revelation that you have of that scripture that will help you. Is it? So, so what's the true revelation? There's always a true revelation concerning scripture. It's not your own. No prophecy of the Bible is for private interpretation. So it's not private revelation. It has to be exact interpretation. So you have done well. You please let me give her a round of applause. So it means that, okay, you can pray in the Holy Ghost, whether in tongues or in understanding. Uh, Sarah, tell me about praying in the Holy Ghost. Don't worry, sorry, I disturb you today. Eh? It's a godly disturbance. I want you to partake of the You know I've not started preaching. Okay, from Jude one twenty. Mm -hmm. But ye beloved. Yes. Building up yourselves. Building up yourself. On your most holy faith. On your most holy faith. Praying in the Holy Ghost. Praying in the Holy Ghost. Um, okay. You just mentioned that there's no no scripture in our interpretation and there's an exact interpretation to it to scripture. Okay. To me I would say obviously it wasn't just referring to us to just exercise our tongues here was like saying something to the brethren and I don't want to assume things about what he's saying there. Uh, who can I? Oh, me. Tell us, how do you pray in the Holy Ghost? Please let's give her a round of. Don't worry, there's no things that can cover you at that back. Yes, sir. <clears throat> so, we pray in the Holy Ghost. Like my sisters have said, we pray in the Holy Ghost by, it's either by praying in tongues or in our understanding. Uh -huh. Yes. And to the will of God. Yes. Please let me give it a high round of applause. <laughs> Who can give me the key? The key to that scripture. Okay, please let's give Israel a round of applause. Praise God. Hallelujah. Um the scripture just popped up in my mind. Yes. In the book of verse 26. Okay. Um, said to twenty seven. Said likewise. Yes. 
The Spirit also helps our infirmities. Okay. For we know not what we should pray. Yes. Pray. Mm-hmm. For as we hurt. Yes. For the Spirit itself maketh intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. Okay. And he that searcheth the heart knoweth what is in the mind of the Spirit. Okay. Because he maketh intercession for the saints according to the will of God. According to what? To the will, the of, will God, of God. Okay. That we may know all things work it together for good to them that love god yes to whom who are called according to his purpose yes good okay so it, intercession by the will of god isn't it yes sir intercession by the will. please let's let's give him a round of applause but there's something i'm still looking for for that scripture who can help us they are always key to spiritual understanding as far as scripture is concerned Happiness, can you help us? Building up yourself on your most holy faith. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Um, I think the key, the key word is in faith. Praying in faith. Mm. The most holy faith. In the most holy faith. Either in understanding or in tongues. Whether in understanding or tongues. But there's a word in the Holy Ghost. What is in the Holy Ghost? What is in the Holy Ghost? When you say you are praying in the Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost is not, is not, uh, it gives you utterance. You understand me? It gives you utterance. When it gives you utterance, you know, is a bit different from when you pray in the Holy Ghost. You understand? You can sit down. Let me teach it. You know, praying in the Holy Ghost means that building up yourself in the most holy faith means that you are built into the most holy. When you say into the most holy faith, it also means into when you say holy, uh, most holy faith. Faith is revelation of God's righteousness. True or false? I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it's the power of God unto salvation. For therein the righteousness of God is revealed from what? Faith to faith. So when you talk about most holy faith, what are you talking about? You said being built up by what? By righteousness. It means that it's only a man that's built up by righteousness that can actually pray in the Holy Ghost. It takes a building to pray. Only a throne can pray to thrones. In the realm of throne, is there that throne? It must be throne. That's also the agenda of the everlasting covenant. Men who will sit on the throne. So when you say pray to the Holy Ghost, you have to build up, to be built up onto God's throne. By what? By reveal righteousness. So that prayer is not just talking to God. It's a building up. Those are buildings that cause mercy. As in Psalm 89. And said mercy shall be built up. So when you say pray in the Holy Ghost, you are not praying in the outer court. You are praying in the realm of the Holy Ghost. In the most holy. <laughs> His prayer enter the innermost chamber of the tabernacle. You are not praying outside. There are people praying outside. You can pray in talk and your soul is outside. You can pray in talk and your soul is outside. <laughs> what prays to God is statue. When Jesus was saying, I thank you, Father, because you... he said, I'm saying it because of the people around. He started is already a prayer. In that realm, you don't need to be heard because you pray. You are heard. <laughs> you are heard. By the component of your race. By the strength of your stature. 
but you're building up. You take angel and pray to God. Oh, God talks to angel. Huh? Look at me. You think God talks to angel? Oh, my God, I am sending you to, to those spirits are those angels are spirit. They pick melodies from their heart and they respond to the will of the Father. You understand me? They are wind that drives them. They are worship. They are ascension. Why? Because they are ranking spirits in the heavenly kingdom. So they pick modulations. They fetch out his way. An angel was, was taking the church in the old church through the wilderness. And he was talking like the Almighty. It means those angels stood in the place of the oracle. They spoke like God. Those are oracles. They are sons. They are sons of the heavenly world. We don't know how we only go see the help our infirmity. Why? Because we are not built. Only go see the help our infirmity. Why? Because our understanding is that we don't know what to pray for. Why? Because we are not one. We are not one with the ministry. With the mysteries, we all are in the spirit. We are not in. So when you are praying in tongue, can you get me? You are calling heaven. Building up. Ask Father, Father, what are you doing? You stand there. Come bless the Lord. Oh, ye servant of the Lord who stand by night. Those who they stand in the court of heaven. They stand. They stand there, they are building, they are oracles, they are pillars of the courts of God. May God accelerate our building. So when they say come boldly to the throne of grace, hmm? you think he's an earthly man they are talking to? How do you come to throne? That come building. <laughs> this word is strange to us because of where our soul has been. Reason now. Huh? Hello. Make you reason them. The son, the word of God that was the beginning with God, that counseled God for his creation, became flesh and died for you. And died the shamefulness of the death of the cross. And he shed his blood for you. He said, Jesus died for me and you are happy. So what do you think? What kind of transaction do you think happened? Who died for you? What became flesh? What came among us? It was Emmanuel. Beginning heavenly being, eternal being. Eternal power of God. So what do you believe? So you think Jesus just died for you? So that he will take you from the heaven. You are a vain man. So you see, we are vain. <laughs> so they say, who can ascend to the hill of the Lord? Who can stand in the hill of the Lord? Why? Because this is a world of reality. God is not looking for children. He's looking for sons. That's his reward. God has invested the incorruptible blood of his son. Harvest sons of a different world. That's why he said, the heaven is my throne. And the earth is my footstool. Where is the place of my rest? So, Ninja Colon, rest. You have to be built up for God to rest. See, 
as we are speaking this thing, spirit had departed. Spirit had held us in captivity. Has framed us to live in a certain way. Things that they just frame you, give you a mindset. You should just find that, okay, you are celebrating your birthday. 25, 30, you know, 35, 40, 50, 60, 72. Evil day today. Those spirit lead into evil day. There are times if you don't accelerate your pace, when you begin to hear words like this, it will be alien to you. It means your soul has gone. So he said, you, imagine you raise so the apple deceive your soul in quotes. So at least you can say something reasonable. They got left to you if they don't give you the ability to pray in tongues. Rubbish, you know, Master. I come and say, okay, God, my son. Look at how Abraham was relating with God. Can you say I'm childless? This I was talking about, okay, God, consider the deafness, deadness of my. Until he got to a place where he believed God, okay, he considered not the death, okay, okay, okay. It's, we, let's count this for righteousness for you. So they have to earn righteousness upon the fact that you can believe God. Okay, it's good to start with you like that. So they say you are the father of faith. Why? Because, because you believe they didn't reveal righteousness. That they know, okay, they will call out a generation from inside of you who will live by the force of reveal righteousness. Because you just believe, but your loin, there will be a seed. God will raise a seed according to the promise. Say around and say, oh, okay, oh, give me a child. Can't you say I'm, he said, I will bless you. Yeah? And in, in there you'll be, you know, sometimes when God comes to you and be talking to you, you don't have the understanding to hear him. That's why evil spirit talks to men, because they are not raised. Evil spirit can come to you and say, ah, you have a special ministry. I'm going to send you to nation. All of the people around me, when we were a little bit when we were in secondary school, that he had God is sending them to nation. Hello, me, the Jack Pauti, software development. Hello, me, rest. Hello, me, if I hello, me, Opolo, I be local. God used to restrain himself from talking to us. Why? Because he knows that immediately he talks to us, the tempter will come to you. <laughs> so by revision, if you are not built by the sun, your next vision will likely be false. It will operate the same way. If we are ejaculate. So God Himself, eh? So we we'll just draw back. So in, let me find a place to round up. We'll continue tomorrow. In Exodus twenty-five. From above the mercy seat, from between the two cherubims, which are upon the ark of the testimony, and all things which I give thee in commandment unto the children of Israel. You see, look at the communion. He said, I will commune with thee above the mercy seat. But that mercy seat, that communion, you know, will be after. All of the things that I've commanded thee. <laughs> so it means that when you open mercy seat, hello, when you open mercy seat, you see commandment layers. You see commandment of everlasting life. You see layer, love command. You see, charity commandment.
Let's say Hebrews chapter 1. God at, at sundry, who has hundred times and in diverse manner spoke in time past unto the fathers by the prophet. Are in this last day spoken unto us by his son, whom he has appointed heir of all things, by whom also he made the world. So, in this last day spoken to us by the son. Everything the son says, you know, is an oracle from the mercy seat. That's the authority of the son. He's an high priest, a mediator of the new covenant. He said, who is the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person? Upholding all things by the words of his power. And when he had by itself poured our sins, sat down on the right hand of the throne of majesty. So what does it mean? It means that when you look at the throne, hello, when you look at the throne, you look at the being of that throne. So you get me. It means that before you can sit on that throne, you must have the nature of that throne. So when you look at the sun, he has a throne. That throne is not just a seat that he's seated on, it's a dominion of his life. You know, in the spirit, you wear kingdom. <laughs> the same way Samuel was wearing the kingdom, you wear kingdom. It's a, it's a throne. So what does it mean? It means a throne is a life. It's a life of the sun. So he was not talking about his inheritance. Being made so much better than angel, as he had by inheritance, obtained a more excellent name than they. Verse 5, For unto the angel said he at any time, Thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee. And again, I will be to him a father, and he shall be to me a son. <laughs> and again, when he, brought, when he bring get in the first begotten into the world, he said, Let all the angels of God worship him. Verse 7, and of the angels he said, who maketh this angel spirit and his minister flame of fire. But to the son he said, look at this. <laughs> Thy throne, O oh God, is forever. A scepter of righteousness is the scepter of the Lord. A scepter of righteousness. When you are talking about scepter of righteousness, we are talking about the spirit of mercy. That's the riches of mercy. That's the substance of that throne. It's the spirit of that throne. Is also the kingdom. So you can understand now that the throne of God is kingdom. It's kingdom. A righteousness set. It's a throne. That's why mercy endure it forever. Verse 9, he said, Because thou art loved righteousness and ate iniquity, therefore God, even thy God, has anointed thee with the oil of gladness above thy fellow. Verse 10, he went into beginning again. He said, Lord, in the beginning thou hast laid the foundation of the change, but thou art the same, thy years shall not fail. Then he started, he said, Which of the angels said thee at any time, Sit down at my right hand and make their enemies their footstool? Are they not ministering spirit? That is sent for to minister for them who shall be heir of salvation. So heavens are works. They call heavens the works of thy hand. That's why Jesus was telling us, he said, in my father's house, there are many mansions. The realm of a right? realm of life. 
Let me read one more scripture and we will go. We continue. We can't finish. <laughs> we can't finish the light of God in a single. <laughs> Let's see uh, Roma, Romans. I think Romans chapter 9. Yes, Romans chapter 9. Please let me let me close my Bible so that Romans chapter 9. I mean, let's see. Verse fifteen. I want somebody to read for me. Verse fifteen. And he said to Moses. We have mercy on whom I will have mercy on. I will have compassion on. So then it is not of him that will it. So then it is not of him that will it. Of him that run it. Of him that run it. But of God that showeth mercy. But of God that showeth mercy. For the scripture says. Do you understand that? <laughs> you know, when you read Bible, you need to pause. It is not of him that will it. It is not that way. It means that, okay. The draft, God designed the path in such a way that even if you are willing, you will still fail. Even if you are willing, hey, why? We will all fail together if we are willing. Okay, you get, but you, have, you need to understand what mercy is. <laughs> You need to have that understanding. If that is not included in your, in your understanding, you will fail. <laughs> you will fail. You will fail. So it means that, okay, so how do you, how do you run? That you are running, hello, and you are taking first. <laughs> he said in the kingdom, the first shall be last. Look at how Israel, God came to them. Gave them the law, gave them the oracle. God came upon, God physically came upon Sinai. Today they are judging unbelief. Why? Because God eat, God shut the doorway of understanding to them. God did this part in such a way that you can be willing and still fail. So that is why you can't be confident. It, all, it is of him that sure mercy. <laughs> so what does it mean? It means that always be intentional about your alignment to mercy. You must always and consciously understand the dominion I mean that which runs the kingdom. It's of God that shows us. It doesn't mean we won't be willing. We will, we will be willing. You understand me? But we know that so. they don't crown us just by willing. Can you people who want to please God that they went to be... In the Lord grown, they run at the stumbling block. He said there is a stone that is laid in Zion. Why? Because they went, they don't have revelation. They went in to establish their own righteousness. So when Jesus was in their midst, they couldn't discern him. 
the word to you, scribe and prophet. You know, there's a, there's a way by which you can know that a man is lost. Yeah? If you have a brother or a sister who is your friend, watch the way he talks. If he does, if he does not talk with meekness and mercy, the soul is lost. That's how you know a soul that is lost. I wish in sorrow. Too confident. Say, no, no, this soul is gone. Why? Because you already understand the covering over the ark. And you can't be too confident. You can't even say this thing. You can't even say, tomorrow we will come to church. Hello? They will, ever we answer, you say, thou fool. That's why you must, by God's grace, don't say we will continue tomorrow. You may not continue. You may not continue. Let me tell you. Hello. Please look at me. How much of life do you have? Is actually how much of mercy you have received. What is called stature in the realm of the spirit is mercy abounding. So you have to position yourself in so much meekness eh, that you can be seen. So that is why no one must make, must get out of this meeting, you understand, and become so wide. Because some people are wide with knowledge. Your blood won't be in my hand because that's not the spirit of our communication. Why? Because we understand what face is and how to align ourselves properly with the, with the face of him that, that, that shines from the throne. Why? We must be dead with so much humility. My wife knows. One of the constant prayer of my life all the constant thing that I give thanks to God for is humility. God, I thank you. Thank you for humility. Why? Because I know it's a warfare. It's a warfare against the covenant. Say you get me. It just takes one evil spirit to put one or two thoughts in you and you see yourself I. When you see yourself I, face will shot against you. So you find out that you are more concerned with observing, running after vanity. And losing your mercy. Men don't have what it takes to keep mercy. Verse 17, sir. Okay, sir. Yeah. For the scripture said unto Pharaoh. Yeah, the scripture said unto Pharaoh. Even for this same purpose, mm -hmm. have I raised thee up. Mm -hmm. That I may show my power in thee, yes, and that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. Thank you. How many of you love Pharaoh? How many of you love Pharaoh? Where are you? A lot of us don't like Pharaoh, but God raised him up. So it means that they can raise a man unto destruction. <laughs> When it, what God was saying, God sent a messenger to him and said, God raised a Moses. He sent him to who? To Pharaoh. And he anointed Moses. From the beginning, he has raised him. Eh? But God was sending him up to Pharaoh as God. So Pharaoh was hardened by God. So you can see, it's good to be, to will, go, go, go. Eh? It takes so much mercy. To will in humility. So you can see, all of those things are written in scripture so that we can understand mercy dominion or mercy peace. So that we'll be able to come to God and unpull ourselves. And let him have pity on all that he wants. Let me tell you.
tell you. In this part, hello, look at me. In this part, the easiest way to fall up eh, is when you increase in confidence in yourself. That thing that makes no one to be able to talk into you. That makes no one to be able to, I mean, not to, I mean, to make, what's this English? Help me, Mike. <laughs> that thing that makes people not to be able to talk to you freely eh, is a snare. Well, no, 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 my bad, Mr. Robert. Who do you think you are? You don't know who I am. You are talking like your soul is like that in a world of spirits. In a world that contains inventory of spirits. Yeah, the soul is in a ditch. God needs to help us. Tonight is impossible in the realm of man. You will only arrive there according to how you have conditioned your life for mercy. Hey! So what does it mean? It means that man has no control of the, of the state of their soul attitude of their soul except they come into a place of submission to God verse 19 this is 19 yes. thou wilt say then unto yeah. me is his will what can sell him to do things is his will and when you open that, that's what counsel him. So you can't find mercy without finding his way. They are two sisters. So why do you find, yes, find fault? He said, who oh, are sister his way? So it means that you better settle down and let Holy Ghost teach you his way. That's why evil spirit will never want that to happen. For you to be raised and talk God's way. No, no. <laughs> they will never allow that. So you find out that you are resting. 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 Then, uh, let's see 20. Let's see 21. Okay, so yes. At not the potter power over the clay. Yes. Of the same lump to make one virtue unto honor. Yes. And another unto dishonor. Another unto honor. Another unto dishonor. What if God? Yes. Willing to shew His worth. Yes. And to make His power know. Yes. Endure with much long suffering. Yes. The vessels of wrath fitted to destruction. Fitted to destruction. And that he might make known the riches of his glory. That he might make known the riches of his glory. On the vessels of mercy. On the vessels of mercy. Which he had afore prepared unto glory. Which he had afore prepared unto glory. Even us, even us, whom he had called, yes, not of the Jews only, yes, but also of the Gentiles, and also of the Gentiles, as he said also in Osea, yes, in Osea, I will call them my people, yes, which were not my people, yes, and are beloved, yes, which was not beloved, yes, and it shall come to pass, and it shall come to pass that in the place where it it was said unto them, yes, we are not my people, yes, of the living God, then they shall. Because the children of the living God. We don't have time this night to explain those understanding. Children of the living God. Let's leave that. Let's talk about that he might make known the riches of his glory on the vessels of mercy. They call them 
vessels of mercy. So it means that that throne wants to pour itself on vessels. When you say vessels, it means souls. Men that have, that are raised to have mercy. Said he will unveil riches of glory. He means treasures of glory. So let's go there this night. You know, let's begin to pray. Lord, help me to run the race that is set before me. Lord, wherever we have been struggling, we ask for mercy. We ask for light. Lord, quicken our part, quicken our place in the name of Jesus. Thank you, our Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are afraid. I want us to quickly give us give our offering. So tomorrow we'll be here by 9 a.m. Meeting start by 9 a.m. tomorrow. You know, let's come and be expectant under God. So that God can seal us, Jesus Christ. The love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost. Be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Shalom.